Okay, I've got another book review. This is Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. And uh, this is a really, really incredible book. It's basically about what the title says, um, a search for meaning in your life, in every man's life. Um, the author was actually in a concentration camp during World War II, and um, he, uh, he suffered really badly and um, actually lost his wife and his entire family, his parents, everybody, they were all dead. They, uh, you know, they died of starvation and sickness and all that. And um, the first part of the book deals more with uh, kind of, kind of building up through example of just what he saw in the concentration camps, just um, how people were dealing with starvation, with sickness, um, the way people just became, just kind of. I guess adapted to it, they um, they just weren't really shocked by it anymore. Like he said, you know, at first when people would uh, see others suffering, they would turn away. But uh, after a while, you could tell the ones who'd been there for a while because they wouldn't. They were just they weren't shocked by it anymore. Um, the second half of the book really deals more with kind of what he gleaned from these experiences. And uh, to kind of summarize what he, he got from this, there are basically three forms of meaning that a person can find in life. One is through work, through achievement, through something you're, you're working towards. Um, that'll, you know, give you a reason to keep going. I mean, we see that all the time. People who, um, you know, they, they have something they're working for or towards, they, uh, they keep going for years after we think they really shouldn't be able to anymore. They've got something to live for, I guess. Um, you know, he noticed that himself. There was one man who uh, was a scientist, and uh, there was a book he felt he needed to write that only he could write, so he had to live for that. Um, another one is, is love, you know. Um, we fall in love with somebody or you know we're in love with our our child or something like that and we feel like we have to keep going for that you know we need to see that person again or we need to be there for that person or we even just need to experience being with that person uh, the other one was basically something you enjoy you know um, you know seeing art museums or seeing great works of art or traveling around the world or, or just something like that. He talked about the importance of, of art and um, how they'd be out freezing cold on the work camps and uh, one of them would stop everybody to look at this beautiful sunset and how they appreciated it like they never had before. It's, uh, it's really an incredible book. Apparently the author wrote this in nine days, which I just find incredible. I mean, it is a, a pretty short book. It's only like 150 pages, but um, it's it's really incredible. I got to say, he's got insight into the human condition that uh, I've, I've never really seen anywhere else. Uh, it's definitely a book that makes you think. They say there are more than 12 million copies in print worldwide, and I believe it. It's one I think pretty much everybody should read, and I'm really glad I read it myself. Uh, I got it from the library, but I might be buying a copy because this is just something I'd, I'd like to have. Uh, Man's Search for Meaning. I highly recommend it.